shorter. Hi, I'm Nick Vaughn. I'm you guys' Axis rep here in Elkhart, Indiana at Total Value RV. Uh, here from Thor Motor Coach, we're going to be talking about the Axis 24.1. Uh, so what's unique about the Axis for us from Thor Motor Coach is we actually call it our RUV, so our Recreational Utility Vehicle. Um, it's going to be a unique coach, obviously just off the look in general. You're not going to look like any other motorhome on the road, so you're very unique in that way. Um, we're actually going to construct this coach on a Class C chassis. So this coach right here, this 24.1, is on an Ecoline 450 Ford chassis. That'll have a Ford Triton V10 up front. Two valve Triton V10, so it's going to have 305 horsepower, 420 foot pounds of torque. Um, what we're going to do with that chassis when we construct our foundation, make the foundation, because we all know the most important part of any home is a foundation, even more important for one that's rolling down the road at possibly you know 60, 70 miles per hour. Um, so we're going to have more ride to our chassis upfit. We're not self-certifying our own factory workers to do it. We have More Ride, who's one of the only OEM certified chassis upfitters in the nation. They're quality vehicle modifiers. They're certified by Ford to fabricate on that chassis, upfit this, cut that steel, and it's guaranteed all original warranty gets upheld. So that's a big peace of mind for our customers. And we're the only manufacturer that's currently sending everything from our smallest Class C up to our biggest diesel pushers and everything else in between, all through to More Ride. So we, you know, we always always like to take a lot of pride in, in adding that value at any price point of coach that we build. So how we use Moride a little differently than other manufacturers, we're not going to do the classic outrigger uh, welded to the sides of these two chassis rails that are going back here. We're not just going to weld outriggers to the side. What we're actually going to do is take steel I-beams on our Class C chassis, they'll be 5 inch beams, on our Class A gas chassis um, that are going to be around you know, 27 to 35 feet. They'll be 7.5 inch beams on our Miramar Challenger and high end Class A gases as well as these pushers everything else on up. It's going to have uh, 13 inch rails going across those, those, uh, those chassis rails, there, those steel i -beams. So basically the big difference in that chassis up fit is going to be that construction right there. So outriggers to us would be like holding dumbbells or holding weights or something out here. Something that you're not as strong holding that far away from the strongest center, center point. I, us putting those I-beams across the chassis rails is similar to putting a squat bar on your back. You can hold a heck of a lot more weight on a squat bar than you can hold dumbbells out here, obviously. So we're utilizing physically the strongest parts of the chassis when we do our upfit. We're also, for most of our chassis, we're doing it on a laser leveled surface next to the chassis before we actually hoist that structure up and then drop it down over the top of that chassis there. So we're eliminating tolerance stack up. We're not going directly down to the frame rails like some manufacturers may choose to do where that can cause road vibration and a lot of noise, noise, uh, noise coming up through that road as that customer drives down the road. We actually raise all of our rails just off off the, off the uh, frame rails enough for our pinky to fit underneath about, just so that eliminates that road vibration, that noise coming up from, from driving down the street. Um, coming down through the rest of the coach, um, your construction is going to be vacuum bonded and laminated flooring, sidewalls, and roofing. So we have a tubular steel flooring structure, so it allows for a much lower center of gravity, much more bottom heavy coach, less sway, much smoother ride for that customer going down the road. Um, we're going to have high density block foam insulation that fully surrounds the coach. In there, we use liquid urethane as our adhesive. Um, and then unique to Thor Motor Coach in our flooring, we're actually gonna have one 24 by eight sheet of structure wood. So in this flooring here, we have one piece of wood down there. We're not using sections of structure wood, creating you know two to three seams. We have a completely seamless floor. We all know these coaches are constantly flexing and moving down the road. The less seams you can have to that flooring, obviously the better. Um, so that's gonna be unique to Thor Motor Coach and that'll be on every, every price point of coach we build. Um, your sidewalls, those are going to have uh, fiberglass on the outside, that T90 sheet of fiberglass on the outside. That will actually be poured with our HD Max, this tan color that's on the outside. That gets poured with the fiberglass. So because it's poured with the fiberglass, it's technically injected into it about halfway through the fiberglass. So if you scratch this HD Max gel coat, it's actually still going to be that color all the way through. As well as the gel coating, unlike a full body paint job, is never going to fully cure because it's a gel coat. So it can expand and contract, it can flex with the fiberglass. Um, you don't have that spider cracking and random chipping occurring anymore. Your roofing, up on top of your roof, uh, you'll have a vacuum bonded laminated roofing. Um, it'll have arch tubular aluminum struts every 15 inches on center up on that roof. So you have a fully walkable roof from Thor Motor Coach. Um, other big construction benefits that we add um, is gonna be tubular aluminum framings around every opening down the side of a Thor. Um, so any window, door, exterior entertainment system, you know, all of your different stuff going down the side of the coach all has an, a tubular aluminum framing around it. So it's not just going to be a foam framing. It'll actually be more energy efficient, structurally sound, and a tighter framing for the lifetime of that customer's coach. Other big hidden value 
is anything on the outside that's screwed in, you know, your grab handles on the outside, your rear ladder, your exterior mirrors. We have electro-galvanized steel strapping behind everything screwed into the outside or inside of the coach. So that's including cabinetry, all inside stuff that's screwed into the wall, as well as all the outside exterior features. Um, you have an upgraded awning on the outside, so that's actually going to be your legless awning. It's going to come out on a motion sensor. Um, you have your LED light stripped on the inside of the awning, so that can actually be used without having to have the awning out all the time. Um, you have your Velvac upgraded mirrors. These are the same mirrors we're putting on our Palazzo diesel pusher. So that's going to have a more expensive configuration with the camera up here as opposed to on the side of the coach, which we're eliminating a hole on the side of the coach, putting it up in the mirror. Less chance for debris and snow and sludge and all that stuff to get up on this camera. These are remote and heated as well. Frameless windows all the way throughout. Um, so those are more, more than just looking sleek, more than just being aesthetic in there. So those are actually going to serve more of a function of protecting that seal up underneath here. Because you have that dark tint all the way around that frameless window, it's going to protect that seal and protect that from getting cracked and having, that, have, having to have that customer replace that someday. Rotocast storage compartments all the way around. So you actually have that as a military grade material. It's never going to rust, mold, or mildew. We have LED lighting standard in all of them as well. Um, and any, any floor plan that allows, we're going to be putting drain plugs in those as well. So it's actually going to be um, easier maintenance. Coming back, you have a tankless hot water heater standard on the axis, on every axis floor plan. Back a little further, you got a mega storage compartment back here. So that's going to have a ton of space, you know, taking bikes, taking chairs, tables, all that extra camping gear, um, a lot more stuff. Uh, that that family that can then take. 300 pound weight limit on our ladders. Um, we actually don't have a weight limit on the roof of our coaches because we have that fully walkable roofing structure up there. Um, you have a vacuum bonded rear wall on the axis with a fully painted steel bumper, 8,000 pound rated hitch. So while we said we do have an 8,000 pound rated hitch on this, I want to talk to you guys about what you can truly tow with this vehicle. Because if we're all true RVers and we really know what we're doing, we always understand we have to take our GVWR and our GCWR. The difference in those two numbers is then going to give you your true tow rating. For the Axis 24.1 2019 model year, um, it's actually going to be 7,500 pounds you can truly tow with the back of this coach. That's pretty unbelievable seeing it as only a 24-foot coach, shorter, much more maneuverable box there, but you can actually tow quite a bit of weight on the back of this. And that's with a 3,200-pound inside cargo carrying capacity. You'll always be able to find those on a Thor Motor Coach on a highlighter yellow sticker um, on the inside of each one of our entry doors. So with 3,200 pounds loaded on the inside, 7,500 on the outside, that's quite a bit of stuff, quite a bit of things you can actually take with you for that camping trip. Um, make sure you don't ever have to leave anything behind. You have a rear view camera that's always going to come standard that we integrate actually up into that light up there so it's not just a big chunky piece hanging off. Up on your roof, you're going to have a TPO roofing material. So that'll be thermal polyolefin up there so it's not a rubber roof. A lot of people still have that misconception. It'll be one premium sheet of TPO, all new Walmarts after 2012, Dallas Cowboy Stadium, Denver Airport, all using that roofing material. It's a very durable, light roofing material um, that's easy, fairly easy to maintain and we have a 12 year warranty up on that roofing material. Coming around the other side of the coach, generator always standard on a Thor motor coach so that'll have your own in 4K gen standard in there. Um, more storage compartments coming along the side, you have your wet bay, um, outdoor storage, uh, you have your slide topper awnings that'll always be standard. One piece fully molded fiberglass front cap up front so even with that unique panoramic windshield we have going back that's automotive bonded still and we still have a one-piece fully molded fiberglass front cap so no seams in here no two-piece cap um, coming in here this will be one of the be best caps in the industry anytime we can eliminate a seam or a hole in the coach no matter what the functions for um, it's always always nice to be able to do that uh, Wi-Fi Ranger standard up on top so that's going to actually be able to pull an existing Wi-Fi signal to that coach and create a secure connection um, for maybe those full timers that might have to pay pay bills, do banking, different things like that. Um, we also have 360 siphon vent caps up top that are now standard for uh, 2019 and on. Um, that's actually going to pull an updraft out of those holding tanks and um, make sure that you don't ever get any of that stinky smell um, caught inside that piping in there. You can actually head inside as well, check out the inside floor plan. So on the Axis 24.1 up front, we'll start with your dash here. So this is going to have that Xera infotainment center, so the six and a half inch screen. 
that'll have GPS navigation standard already in it. You have Sirius XM, you get one month free from Thor Motor Coach, as well as you can Bluetooth your phone to that. Um, you have all your regular basic controls. You have your electric sunshade up top. You have a 500 pound drop down bunk up here. So even with that weight, even with this panoramic windshield, we can still put a full size drop down bunk and that'll be on your Schwintec slide system um, that moves that electrically up and down. You have your dash workstation up front. So this will be used, you know, you can use your Ken, use it for your Kindle, your iPad, laptop, whatever it may be. You can have storage underneath. You have one 10 and 12 volt outlets on each side for charging as well. Um, you have a solar charge controller that you can see down here at the bottom of the door. That's actually going to be linked to all the solar prep that we put on this coach. So we're actually going to have solar prepped all the way up to the brackets, all the wiring. All that customer has to do is grab the panel. Um, that can be a 100 watt solar panel they put standard on that. Unique to the RUVs, we're actually going to have this rounded um, Euro style cabinetry. So it's going to be a little more modernized, have a unique look. Once again, your coach isn't necessarily going to look like anybody else's. You'll actually have more of a unique um, aesthetic going throughout the rest of the coach. You're also going to have your Lippert multiplex system in here so that's going to be all your wiring control is all going to go to this right here. So you control your awning, your lights, your generator, basically full system control of the entire coach, slide outs, everything um, from this control system right here. 32 inch TV standard, gooseneck faucet with a sprayer. Um, you're going to have your basic gas, gas stove cooktop right here from Dometic um, and you'll have your basic microwave on the bottom. Coming back, you actually have a pretty large bathroom here. Um, so if you guys can actually see that, you can come in here and open both of those doors up and get a look at that. A fairly large bathroom that you get to open up there. Coming to the back bedroom here, you actually have the two twins that convert then into a king. So we have a centerpiece here that would pop in between to make a fairly large king bed. Um, but if chosen so, you can use the two separate twin beds, making it easier to pop in and out of, out of bed if you have to get up in the middle of the night, you know, turn things off, go to use the restroom, different things like that. 32 inch TV standard in the bedroom, um, and we're utilizing about every square inch of interior storage. Um, let's remember this is only a 24 foot coach and we're getting quite a bit quite a bit of storage. That's really the main main feature of the Axis is being built on that Class C chassis and you have a Class A house. You get all the advantages of a bigger box but it's a shorter more maneuverable coach as well as you look more unique compared to any other motorhome out there. Hey just wanted to thank Nick from Thor Motor Coach for giving us the wonderful walk around on the Axis here this morning. You might be wondering hey how do we get a hold of you? Well we have a phone. You can call us at 866-282-4460 or you can visit us on the web at TotalValueRV.com or if you want to get in a car and come see us, you can get on the toll road 8090, get off at exit 92, come to the first light, take a right, go to the next light, take another right, go through the four-way stop, and then take another right. So three right turns in order to make the right decision. Listen, we like to say you come in as strangers and you leave as friends. If you're still here, thanks for watching.